Who is Jonah Peretti? In an era when the internet business is booming, only a few names have been able to find massive success. One of those names is Jonah Peretti. Jonah is an internet entrepreneur who founded BuzzFeed. BuzzFeed is a famous American internet news and entertainment company. Jonah is also famous as the co-founder of the Huffington Post. Meanwhile, he is a developer of reblogging under Project Reblog. People know him as the man with the viral touch. It is because he started the highly successful website way before turning 40 years old. Jonah has also got fame for being the brother of a famous actress and comedian, Chelsea Peretti. Jonah Peretti Childhood Jonah was born on January 1, 1974, in Contra Costa County, United States. The media hasn't disclosed his parents' names yet. We know that his father was a criminal defense lawyer and a painter while his mother was a school teacher. Jonah Peretti, though being white, comes from a diverse ethnicity. His father was of Italian and English descent, whereas his mother was Jewish. His stepmother was African-American. Jonah Peretti has been following the Jewish religion since his childhood. How many siblings does Jonah Peretti have? Jonah Peretti has one sister, Chelsea Peretti. From his father's second marriage, Jonah has two half-siblings, a brother and a sister. Jonah and Chelsea's half-brother is a figurative artist in Pennsylvania. At the same time, their half-sister is a student at Drexel University. Who is Jonah Peretti's sister, Chelsea Peretti? Chelsea Peretti is an American comedian, actress, television writer, and songwriter. She is famous for her role as Gina Linetti in the series, Brooklyn Nine-Nine. Jonah Peretti Education Jonah Peretti did his schooling at the College Preparatory School in Oakland, California. For his undergraduate degree, he went to the University of California, Santa Cruz. Jonah graduated with a degree in environmental science in 1996. As an undergraduate student, he taught computer science at Isidore Newman School. For his master's degree, he went to study at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology, MIT. He went to MIT to think about how technology could influence and improve learning. While doing so, he found people who were experts with networks. It was while he was at MIT that he went viral for the first time. It was for sending an email to Nike, requesting them to print sweatshop on his custom shoe order. The email exchange between him and the Nike company went viral. Jonah Peretti wife and children the internet entrepreneur, Jonah Peretti, married Andrea Hanna. They have twin sons together. Who is Jonah Peretti's wife, Andrea Hanna? Andrea Hanna is a children's advocate in California. She holds training on how to protect children. She also holds the position of authorized facilitator. She is also an occasional interior designer. At the time of her marriage to Jonah Peretti, she was a blogger. She also worked as a clinical forensic specialist. She worked at the Safe Horizon Staten Island Child Advocacy Center. She was also a part of a senior strategic advisor for Darkness to Light. Road to Fame Before being the BuzzFeed founder, Jonah got a taste of fame through his viral emails with Nike. But it does not end there. Jonah went viral again after launching the popular parody website called blackpeoplelovus.com. The site documented a couple's bond among the African-American community. Jonah also teamed up with his sister, Chelsea Peretti, on a project called New York Rejection Line. Jonah Peretti on the Huffington Post and BuzzFeed. Before he acquired everything, Jonah Peretti worked as a director of the Rand D Lab from 2001 to 2006. In 2005, Peretti hosted the Contagious Media Showdown at iBeam, New York. Peretti co-founded The Huffington Post with Kenneth Lira, Andrew Breitbart, and Arianna Huffington. 
He launched BuzzFeed as a side project in 2006. He worked at the Huffington Post until AOL, a web portal, bought the company for $315 million in 2011. It was during this phenomenon that he came up with the concept of Board at Work Network. It is a network that targets a larger audience than some major TV networks. After leaving the Huffington Post, Jonah Peretti started working full-time at BuzzFeed. Jonah Peretti's journey to BuzzFeed and its success. BuzzFeed was founded in 2006. In the initial stages, BuzzFeed was a simple site having funny photos and videos, aka memes. It grew as a multimedia powerhouse through its viral lists, memes, quizzes, and news. BuzzFeed was the first site to break the news about John McCain endorsing Mitt Romney in 2012. The company raised over $35 million in funding from investors in 2012. They raised $50 million from Andreessen Horowitz, a venture capital firm in 2014. Then, the company's value was at $1 billion. In 2016, BuzzFeed had a valuation of $1.7 billion. Comcast, a telecommunications company, invested $400 million into the company over the years. In 2019, BuzzFeed had $300 million as its annual revenue. With the headquarter in LA and its franchise worldwide, the company has over 1,700 employees. It hosts more than 10 contents, worth it, tasty, BuzzFeed Unsolved being some of the favorites. Currently, BuzzFeed gets more than 8.5 million views per month. Jonah Peretti and BuzzFeed sure have come a long way. Jonah Peretti net worth. As of 2020, Jonah Peretti has a net worth of $20 million. He has earned his fortune mostly by being the founder of BuzzFeed Inc. Controversies. Not all success comes without complications. More. For an entrepreneur with a vast audience spectating his every move. Staff layoff. In 2019, Jonah announced that BuzzFeed would lay off 15% of its staff due to their underperformance. Then, the remaining workforce was officially unionized. BuzzFeed announced that it would recognize the employee reunion voluntarily. Plagiarism. People accused BuzzFeed's staff of plagiarizing original content from other competitors' blogs. Gawker, Reddit, and The Atlantic Wire made observations on the plagiarization of Benny Johnson. He got fired because of his plagiarized content. In 2016, people accused BuzzFeed video of stealing content from other creators. In 2020, BuzzFeed News senior reporter Ryan Broderick also got fired for plagiarizing. At least 11 of his articles were labeled plagiarized. BuzzFeed has been the subject of various copyright infringement lawsuits too. Unreliable. In 2014, people accused BuzzFeed of being an unreliable source of news. Columbia Journalism Review found that readers trusted a story originated on BuzzFeed less. In 2017, BuzzFeed faced criticism from several media outlets and Donald Trump. Its reason was it published 35 pages of unverified memos, known as the Steele dossier. In 2018, a spokesman for Mueller's office called the BuzzFeed report not accurate. Unpaid contributors. BuzzFeed's director of quizzes stated that unpaid contributors created most of its quizzes. The quizzes would make an estimated $3.8 million for BuzzFeed. But, the contributors received $30 Amazon gift cards or BuzzFeed merch in the form of payment. Political ideology. BuzzFeed supports civil rights, women's rights, anti-racism, and LGBT equality. It has also partnered with Obama on the Get Out the Vote campaign. People once again criticized the company. It was when Jonah canceled an advertising agreement with the Republican National Committee. The reason was offensive remarks made by Donald Trump. Peretti said not advertising Trump was like how BuzzFeed does not promote smoking. Jonah Peretti Social Media Besides his website, BuzzFeed.com, you can find Jonah Peretti on Twitter as at Peretti. 
He usually shares articles and news on his website there. He also has a Facebook on his name, even though he is less active there. For more update visit celebcritics.com.